Wow. Really? Your phone is really empty. Because ain't nothing in it. I'm gonna go with the flow. I'm gonna oh, bounce okay. it off you. Alright. Ready? everybody to the chest man i'm back with another youtube video man i have an awesome guest here today man her name is amber jones she's a phenomenal phenomenal woman i actually may try to go and do some investigative work for y'all and drop some clips she used to shoot ball <laughs> Get her to play me one on one, but you know We're what I'm tired. saying? She won't do it. She claims she ain't got time, or well, you know, just typical women stuff. But man, uh, I invited her over tonight, man, and we are going to shoot this video for you. And we're going to keep talking about dating in 2019. Mm -hmm. And because she handles finances, she actually has her own business. She's a co founder of a great business. I'm gonna let her tell you about all of that. We're gonna talk about finances and money when it comes to dating in 2019 when it comes to relationships because I know from firsthand knowing that women are are done with dealing with guys that ain't got no good credit man so we about to give you five do's and don't five do's and don't of course she's going to go over the do's and your boy's going to handle the don'ts so i'm gonna let her have her little moment real quick and then guess what we'll go ahead and get started so hello like he said my name is amber i am from pound creek alabama i went to the university of birmingham university of alabama birmingham go blazers um i graduated <laughs> <laughs> and then you know I, <laughs> I remember looking back at the, the the playback i was like oh look at that chemistry i did see that chemistry and i recognized it wow we just we clicked i graduated in 2013 with an exercise science degree i played professional basketball overseas four years i had a career in foot injury which led me to my current profession which is credit repair taxes my company is complete financial solutions founded in 2017. um so that's basically me in a nutshell and my Charlamagne and god voice drop one of clues bomb for her drop one of clues bomb right now for her I know I'm talking to myself, but y'all are here when we go ahead and, and we we'll play it back. So again, man, the topic for the night is finances and dating in 2019. Just some do's and some don'ts. So I'm gonna let her go ahead and kick it off, and she's gonna start off with number one by going over again the do's and I'll do the don'ts. Fellas, I might not be on point like I was on the first one on this because I am not the best with finances. That is one of my weak suits. <laughs> what? I'm not afraid to say it. When the Lord send me a good woman, he gonna send me a woman that's gonna be able to just handle finances from A to Z and I ain't gonna have to worry about it. Just go to work, get the check, give it to her, and then go from there. Man. <laughs> So without further ado, man, we're not going to keep it going on too long. I'm going to turn it over to Miss Amber. Okay, our first do and the most important thing and the reason why I started my company and the reason why I'm so passionate about what I do is credit. If we don't have credit, what do we really have? And that's, you know, one thing I shot on. That's our first do because anything that we may do, if we get married in a relationship, we're ready to buy a house together, a car, what are we going to do without credit? It's not smart to put down cash because that cash should be spent investing or growing money. So you should always use the bank's money. And that's the first thing. They don't teach us financial literacy in college. So if no one taught my parents, how can I know? That's why, you know, you told me to keep it on Do Not Disturb. But it, I so thought it was on Do Not Disturb. Here, I thought it was on Do Not Disturb. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> yeah, so credit is the most important thing because credit is the foundation to money management, financial literacy, all of that. Um, so that's the first thing I would want him to do. The first do is to make sure his credit in line. Call me and I can get your credit in line. Right. Um, but it's very, very, very important. Um, interest rates, different things like that. We may get approved, but if our credit is not good, we're going to spend so much more money that he could be spent buying me flowers. 
Wow, so she likes flowers. <laughs> <laughs> then using the credit. So that's my first do is make sure that your credit is in order and that's the first thing I'm going to ask. What's your credit score? Well, to what elaborate, uh, you already know what my credit score is. I come to y'all to handle my stuff, so you that's already true. you can he see all of client, my stuff. So he is so. getting in line with the perfect woman. Perfect. So uh, just to elaborate for a, a quick second, man, when it comes to credit, man, I think when it comes to, uh, like she was uh, talking about and elaborating on the fact that we're not really taught uh, how to handle credit credit or to to do things with credit and you know when we start actually indulging it, we don't know how to handle it you know what right. i'm saying so we just take off and go and we tell ourselves whatever happens happens we'll take care of it later on or whatever the case may be and i'm just here to say that that is not the attitude to have about mm -hmm. it because if you don't deal with it up front it's one of them things that when it catch you on the back end it's going to cost and, and it's going to cost you a lot more and when that's in not just money but energy effort just putting into it i mean ain't nothing more stressful than needing a car and you got to go get a car and you actually got a decent job and you make decent money, but mm -hmm. you got to pay this high crazy rate, rate, you know right. what I'm saying? Simply because of the fact that you right. haven't tend to your credit the way that you need to. So definitely uh I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to stand um I'm gonna have to stand in agreement with on her. And I definitely agree with you as far as the on that don't as far as figuring stuff out later. The older we get, we have to realize we can't say oh I'll wait till it just all goes bad to fix. We have to start seeing things and seeing it before we get hit like we have to know before we get hit prepare for those things so if you go ahead and get it right once it happens you don't have to try and recover for it so that's a good thing we can't wait until things happen like we have gotten too old when you get to a certain maturity level you have to work on preventing versus waiting until you get knocked down i definitely agree so yeah. that was kind of sort of my indirectly that is my first don't uh don't try and to fit to figure stuff out later when it comes to your right. credit man so i turn it back over to you and what's your number two my next number two is money management. <laughs> I really want a man that knows how to manage his money. At the end of the day, we, we live in a social media world, a world of trying to impress people on the next block or people you may like, and people have own more money than what they have in their bank account. So I just want to make sure, you know, a, a good do and a man is to make sure you know how to manage your money. I'd rather you have more money in your savings account and a better credit score than walking around with gooey Lucci Fendi. Like I like all those things, but you have to make Fendi sure is you're nice. <laughs> I like the nice. traditional brands. Like I feel like Fendi, MCM, those things, they kinda come and go. But like Louis, Gucci, they they're gonna be Popular favorite. You know what? Uh, my like ex girlfriend, I didn't even know that the Louis bags got names. Like, they all yeah. of them got their own the little name. Like, the, that's too much, bro. Yeah. Like, I'm straight. It's like man. collector's like, pieces. You know how dudes collect cars, so people collect dolls, like those purses? I don't feel like that's a waste. I don't feel like that's a. Um, what you mean? So, you know how clothes after so long, they don't, you know, you don't use, you don't wear them no more. Like purses, you can have them forever. Bruh, they come back the in lowest style. Louis purse I seen on the website was like 1200 The lowest one was okay, like 1200 Okay, well, how much do y'all spend in the club on some liquor that ain't gonna be there? In the well, place? I ain't been to the club and I don't know how long, you know what I'm saying? So, well, you know in my era in my time when I would do that I mean it was all about the show so again going back to just not and how, knowing much, how, about to, how much money you think you wasted popping bottles in the club now we popping since, bottles since like I've been, been in the club sparkles. yeah I'll probably say it's probably in the 20 thousands of dollars $20,000 10 years ago for him will probably be about 200000 right now in the right I'm just saying, I know my first New Year's when I was in the military, my first New Year's, I was what? And kids, if you're watching this, uh, young adults, if you're watching this, please do not do this. But I, when I was 18 years old, uh -huh. I went to a club called Gotham in San Bernardino. And uh, man, we went in the club and we bought... Six, seven bottles of Dom Perignon. We had six, seven bottles of Moet. We bought VIP. VIP came with an open tab at the bar. So basically, whatever we wanted from the bar, we had our own personal little uh, girl, bottle girl that would bring everything to us. Uh, I went and bought Tim's, and I don't even wear Tim's for real. I went and bought <laughs> Tim's. I went and bought polo jeans. I bought a $300 polo sweater. You know, you couldn't tell me nothing. I rode in the club that night, man. I blew a whole chick. I blew, I mean, like. And how much did you have in your savings? At that time, mm -hmm. I think I was putting like $10 for a paycheck in my savings. I wasn't trying to say no Yeah, and, and don't get me wrong. I like going, I like having fun, celebrating different things, but 
now the different mindset that we should it should be celebrating something or it should be when we have money it's so many different ways to celebrate and do different things that don't require that much money um like i said i love doing those things i love going out on occasions like i said where it's celebrating if i'm not celebrating something or somebody i'm not going at this point so I I, yeah. I, I I agree with you. Uh, so, you know, I, I can't really say a lot about money management because we spent a little time on that, but I'll just add this right real quick. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things that my ex co host, uh, Natalia, and that is not her name, it's Natalie, let me say it correctly. Uh, Natalia said it's that all one of them. Exactly. I was, I was having a point to her like this so she knew to say uh -huh. her name, you know what I'm saying? But one of the things that she said is always going to stick with me is that. Uh, when it comes to relationships, a lot of us have weaknesses. Mm -hmm. And when we get meshed with that right person, that right person is going to be able to pick that slack up when it comes to whatever their weakness is. So I'm one of them people that can be in the forefront and honest enough to say that, you know, I know how to go out and work. I know mm -hmm. how to make money. I know how to pay my bills. I know how to make sure that I can eat and everything is good to go. But when it comes to ultimately managing money uh, from an executive standpoint right. to make sure that we're moving in a, a constructive direction to mm -hmm. say, hey, that we going to Italy, I mean, we're going to Paris, we're going to Tokyo, yeah. we're going here, we're going this, we're doing that. We're mm -hmm. getting ready to try to start up this business. I'm the one that can sit back and say, hey, you know what? I can handle the paperwork and do whatever you want me to do, but when it comes to the money, I'm going to need for you to take care of that money. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to relationships in 2019, man, if you need to deal with somebody in terms of money and you know that that's your weak suit, just be honest, honest about it in, in the, in the forefront so that that person, they don't need to be weak with money just like you are because two people weak with money, you're going you're gonna to be suffering more than, than what you actually And you know that's to. like one of the number one causes of divorces is, is money finance. and finances. So one. before you fall in, like I said, it shouldn't be a deciding factor, but you have to be honest. You have to know what you're dealing with up front so you can work on that. And that leads me, what you said just led me to another thing. Like one uh, do I have, my next do is as a woman, you should let a man be a man. You know what drives me crazy? I own a business. I'm a boss. I own a business. But what drives me crazy is to see women walking around, oh, I'm this boss. I don't need no man. That's I how you act, though. Mm. For real. Oh, really? That's how you feel. Yep. That's, that's how you act. Why you leaning away over here? That's how you act. Yeah, that's how you act, though. That is not that's true. That's how you act, I'm bro. I'm talking about to someone that they're talking to, someone I'm talking to. No, that's if not If you're trying to, if someone's trying no, to talk to me, talk to me, talk to me. I'm sorry. And I'm, not I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. And <laughs> what do you want so, me to so do? So, so what you trying to say? Or is, is that what you trying to say? Did you just kind of say what you said in a subliminal way? Is, did you just put out what you need to put out in a subliminal way? It's something. Okay, I'm just checking. Yeah. She didn't get one third point, and I women, ain't even gave two yet. Women deal with. <laughs> she on it. <laughs> women deal. So, okay, what am I supposed to do? Every people. Talk, trying to talk to me and talk Look, to me. What do you this, want me to do? This, this is what we're finna do, y'all. What do you want me to do? I'm finna stop her. Hold okay. your thought on number three. Fine. Let me get my number two. Fine. My number two is old school because y'all know that your boy is an 80s baby. Like, I'm a true 80s baby. Shout we out already, to the 80s babies. Uh, whatever. They Shout whack, bro. Us. They whack. They falling off the bandwagon. No, you understand what I'm saying? They can't cook. They just know how to maybe make a little bit of money. You know what I'm saying? So they can call themselves a boss. Oh! But look, my number two. I don't two, need to know how to cook. I do. I can cook three or four things. Don't say and that. And I'm learning. Don't I'm say learning. That on not camera. enough, cause I'm honest. At <laughs> the end of the day, I was a college athlete, and I didn't have to cook overseas. We were sponsored. So guess what? I didn't have to cook. All I had to do was play basketball. But when I get in a relationship with a man, <laughs> guess what? I'm gonna learn how to cook. Because guess what? I can do anything I want to do. So I, I hear you. It's, I hear that you. is not the Why, why factor. I feel like you're on me right now? Why can't we just look, have let a me, chef? Let me let me get her off me Are so I can serious? get my number two so we can go to her but number three. This is three. what I told one of my friends. You pause right there. This is what I told one of my friends. Me? I just paused. I'm so fire at salmon and different things like that now and I'm like y'all girls used to be on Did here you say oh, salmon? I can, No, I can cook the best salmon there and listen <laughs> Listen to me. I text my friend. I said all these girls used to be like Oh, oh I can God. cook if you don't know how to like it's some talent like you will never be able to hoop like me 
What you mean? Never. I done already tried to call you out on the court Never. and you ain't want to do that. Never. You but don't want no smoke, bro. You don't I, want no kind of smoke. Like, I personally think cooking is just who you learning from. If my mom can cook, it's just who you, it's just following directions. Like, what's so hard about following directions? Oh, okay. I hear you. Next anyway, we're going to get better at her number three. Let me give you my number two. I'm going old school with it. That's why I was telling y'all 80, baby. And my mom used to always tell me, don't try to live a champagne life mm -hmm. making Kool-Aid money. Ooh, I like that one. Don't try to live a champagne life making Kool-Aid money. Shout out to you, mama, for that one. Because like that you one. know that there have been some seasons of life that I've been in that I've been trying to live the top shelf champagne life, real life making Kool-Aid money. What was your response um, when she said that? I mean, my mama can give me some good sound, like mm -hmm. honest advice. And yeah. she like one of my mamas that'll tell you something that you really need to hear, but you don't want to hear when she tell you you want to hear. But so, later. you know, it's just, uh, it was a chill moment when she actually, when, when she actually told me because I was just going through the motions of just blowing money. Mm. Just blowing money. Like, a lot of people don't know, like, you know, I was in the Marine Corps. I served in the Marine Corps. I fought in two wars. Oh, wow. The first time I came back from my first my first war, I had, like, $16,000, $17,000 in my bank account. Ooh, you know how long? You know. But I ain't never had no money like that. Yeah, no, I said time. millionaire. So, guess how long it took me to spend that money? Three months. Three months. Ooh, I got it right. Three months. That's exactly how I'm renting calls. Clothes. I remember going into the mall, and the girl that was in the mall, she was so fine. Oh my God! I was trying to show what out. She look like? what uh, she look like? I don't know what she okay. looked like, but she was red though, cause y'all know I'm kind of color struck. You know, and nothing against my beautiful black women out there. Please don't take that the wrong way. Ooh, but in terms of me having a type or having something that I like, mm -hmm. like I like two or three shades lighter than me. Mm -hmm. And I walked inside of the mall, and I was like, yo. This is what I need you to do. Just follow me around. Whatever I want, I want you to pick it out for me. Whatever shoes I choose, I want you to lace them up for me. I'm like tipping her for doing all this, spending hundreds and hundreds and thousands of dollars in, in inside the mall, going to the club every single night. Like when you're in California, it's something to do Sunday through Sunday. Like yeah. you ain't got to wait for specific days to go out and do nothing. Sorry. I mean, if it ain't nothing to do in San Diego and LA and Temecula, you know what I'm saying? You so can just go to Tijuana. Tia, Tia to make you California? Never heard of it. It's on the back side of Camp Pendleton, man. Yeah. I had to tell you about it. Okay, okay, it's, okay. it's a beautiful place, though. Gotcha. But anyway, man, that's 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 going to be my number two. And it's simple and sweet, man. Don't try to live a champagne life making Kool-Aid money, man. And, and I guess that kind of points back to what her number what her number two was. It's just money management. Like, mm -hmm. you got to live within your means, man. It don't make no sense when you're trying to do... Like, if she wants you, she wants you. If she don't want you, she don't want you. If you're wondering what I'm talking about, go and look at my reaction to Prince T Tug video when he was talking about get you a woman that you can afford. Get you a woman that you can afford. That might be why I ain't got Amber yet, because I can't afford her. I can't afford her, <laughs> boy. I'm just saying, I'm telling serious? the truth. I'm just keeping it oh real. My God. So 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 now that I didn't put my number two out there, let's go ahead and go back to your number three, which was my, let a man be a man. Yes, so go ahead. that's my number three is let a man be a man. And I came up from a really small country town. We have a farm. It's where, you know, my mom and dad have been married 40 years. So my mom has been a housewife. So it was always my dad, he do all the work, he bring all the money, and my mom just it. No, I'm just saying. But she, she cooks, she cleans, she do everything a woman's supposed to do. So I believe in a woman being inferior, but you can still hold your own. So and that puts me in an awkward space now because I own my own business. I work a lot, but I still try to clean, learn how to cook more. So that's the balance. I never want to go into a relationship to make a man feel like, oh, I'm this or oh, you got to be that. Like when I'm actually with somebody, I'm more here. But when I'm like, out on my job I'm like this so I feel like a woman should always be inferior well, I don't believe in the Oh, we eat, da, da, da. Well, if you let a man be a man and he realize that you're working long hours, then he'll try to pick up the slack anyway. So you won't have to right. always be at home trying to clean. You exactly. won't always have to be at home trying to cook. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Because you'll probably contribute more on the finance end than you possibly have to, uh, mm -hmm. or whatever the case may be. So I mean, I have to, I have to give you kudos and admire you for the fact that you actually point out that you can't be submissive. Like that's like mm -hmm. totally cool. Like a lot of women nowadays, they don't understand the avenue of being submissive exactly and, and they don't want to because of whatever reason and so. i and i hate to see you know saying people on social media and women saying oh i'm this boss i don't need no I, god made man for woman mm -hmm. so at the end of the day it ain't oh i can be by myself like you should be happy by yourself but you have to be prepared at some point to be with somebody that's why god you know put us so on so, so you do like boys yes and so many people why are i 
think because I hoop that I like girls. Cause Cause Boosie like made the song back in the day. And what said, did he say? Oh, uh, what Boosie said? Uh, he said something about the basketball players. Um, dang, I what Boosie was it? Boosie was it Wayne? I haven't heard that one. I gotta go. Bruh, that. you know what? I'm gonna find a song for you and I'm gonna drop the clip so that you know exactly Please. what I'm talking about. I'm gonna find a song and I'm gonna drop the clip. You know Please. what I'm saying? So, so yeah, we're gonna move on. I don't want to linger this on. Uh, okay. You don't wanna linger it on? No, I don't wanna linger it on. Wanna linger it on because I'm gonna have to go back and do all the editing. Okay, you you okay. get to sit back and wait on the final product. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? exactly. So, for my number three, y'all, I guess I'm just gonna say when it comes to money, um, just make sure that you do what you need to do for your woman so another man will not have the opportunity to. So, what's the don in it? So uh, I Did guess the okay? don't would be no. I, I didn't say don't. I didn't. <laughs> so uh, I guess I guess it's gonna point back to um, money management. Like uh -huh. everything's gonna point back to that. Uh, because of course I said this in my first video. I said my mom always told me also that what one man want another man another man will. will. So you know I kind of saw what I guess I'm trying to piggyback off that to make sure that you that you handle what you need to handle when it comes to finances to make sure that that doesn't open up an opportunity for another man to be able to slide in and crack some. So don't don't do the things that you're supposed to do. Don't what? Don't do the things that you don't. Don't do. not do the things yep. you're supposed to do. Yep. 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 Where did that go? Did I think, does that sound right? No, it just don't. sounded pretty cool. Don't. Face. Okay. Don't do the things that you're not supposed to do. Okay, don't do. The things that you're not supposed to do. Do the things. Don't do the don't. things. Don't do the things that you're not supposed to do. That I'm just saying. Not supposed to do. It really don't make sense, but I'm putting it as my it's number three. Put a, I'm gonna put in parentheses. I'm gonna put everybody because she helped me come up with my number. <laughs> so if y'all don't like it, then y'all can get in the comments box on her. Don't get on me about that. So what's your number four? Uh, my number four is investments. investments. I just feel like uh, at, at a certain age, everyone should start having some type of investment, whether it's savings, I will, just some type of investments, multiple streams of income, side businesses, just something to be better. He should. That's good. So I'm gonna keep it moving with the investments. I'm gonna pick it back off that, bro. Get some insurance in a 401k, bro. Yes. Get yes. some insurance in a 401k. So I guess my 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 don't will be, don't work a dead end job that does not offer insurance or 401k. Exactly. Like, bro, you work in nine to five. You work in. You're behind off to support your family, to support your kids, to support your relationship. To dating in 2019, like dating with a purpose has become like a thing. Like, you know, everybody kind of sort of like in the beginning kind of sort of like reveal what, what they want nowadays and when it comes to dating like hey I'm just trying to kick it hey I'm just trying to chill I just got out so I just need somebody there for comfort or whatever the case may be and then you have that woman that's kind of sort of got her ducks in a row her finances in a row her credit in a row she ready to get out of the apartment you know what I'm saying she don't she can go get a house on her own but she don't want the house until she knows it's gonna be a home so she got that counterpart exactly. that she needs you know so she can actually go ahead and tell you like hey I want to date with a purpose. Yeah. So when it comes to dating in 2019, man, you need to make sure that you can handle things that you need to handle from your end, which means basically working something that can support you if something happens, man. Cause I know like if, if, if something bad happens at the end of the day, you can rely on your 401k. I don't want you to pull away from your 401k, it's a penalty. but if something bad happened, you can pull from your exactly. 401k to support your family because that's something that you have invested in. So that's what I'm going to say for my number four is going to be uh, don't work dead end jobs that don't offer insurance and 401k. Mm -hmm. And what's your number five? My number five is just financial literacy in general. So that just sums up everything that we talked about. Credit, money management, investment everything in one i just want so basically financial literacy number five and that's just having a core overall picture of what financial literacy is so just to have it all in a row and like i said at the end of the day credit i could teach someone about credit in an hour 
um, savings, money management, talk with your banker, YouTube, Google. It's so many different things to learn out there. It's not going to take long to just learn, get those things in order to make a change before the right woman may come into your life. So don't wait. We just talked about this earlier. Don't wait until she's in your life and then go scrambling trying to fix it all. Go ahead and try to get it right now. For what she do coming to your life. That's awesome. And my number five, and we're gonna get ready to get out of here, is yeah. extremely simple, man. Don't hate what you do when it comes to you making your money. Ooh. And the reason I'm gonna say that is because when it comes to you working a dead end job, mm -hmm. something that you hate, something that you're just going to because you're just trying to make ends meet. What happens when it comes to dating, especially dating with a purpose, what ends up happening with that is those mixed emotions that you deal with on your job, those burdens that you deal with on your job, the way that you feel being at your job, guess what you're going to start to do eventually? You're going to start to bring that stuff home to your woman, man. Right. And no woman wants to deal with that. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it, it's, it's not even fair to them, especially if they're they're doing the best that they can and they're trying to absorb what you're pouring into them and be that backbone to just be that light and that encouragement that you need because, you know, behind they say behind every good man is an awesome and great woman, you know what I'm saying? So if, if, if you're working... Uh, a dead end job that's giving you straight negativity eventually you're gonna have to pour that off into somewhere because you can't go on your job acting a crazy kind of way talking any kind of way because you're gonna be jobless so you gotta have somewhere to push it off right. and I don't want for you guys to get caught up in stress and depression you get caught up in drugs and alcohol and stuff like that so guess what if you don't push it off on something else you're gonna bring it home and you're gonna push it off eventually on your significant other whether it be a spouse whether it be somebody you're dating or anything like that so Thanks. that's Thanks. kind of sort of man it man we're going to go ahead and close this out man y'all know what we do at the end of it we go ahead and stand up and we summarize everything man and we get out of here man so if you'll just stay tuned man thanks so much for watching the video man please make sure that you like share and subscribe to the channel if you want to get in contact with amber in any kind of way guess what along this video if you didn't notice everything is right there below on the screen if you want to get any contact information as far as her business goes you can look down in the description everything will be linked there along with the numbers so at the end of the day for my closing remarks the only thing i'm gonna say in dating in 2019 when it comes to money bro get your paper straight so you straight. So when you come to the table, it don't matter what she talking about. You still gonna be good at the end of the day because we date people so that it, be, it goes from one to two. That means that we're putting all of our coins and everything we're trying to do into this one little pot, right. man. So it don't matter if somebody can match what you're doing, at least they are an addition and not a subtract to what you're doing. Exactly. So that's what my advice is gonna be when it comes to dating in 2019, when it comes to finances. So Ms. Amber, what you got? <laughs> I'm not cutting it. I don't want to leave in there just as you get above. Thank you guys for coming out here. Thank you so much, LaChessa, for having me. This was really fun. I really enjoyed it. So make sure your dues, get your credit in order, finances, investment, savings, and just financial literacy overall. So just get it in order because credit rules everything. There you go. Me. So y'all already know I'm supposed to have a new co-host. But until I get my co-host uh, on point, I may invite Miss Amber back. So, man, y'all jump in the comments right now and let me know if y'all like her, y'all enjoyed her. Again, man, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And until I see y'all next time, man, y'all be good. I love y'all. Peace. Yes.